please click here to like this video your comments are welcome subscribe to get new videos Hello. Okay, so in this um, uh, lesson, we are going to look at this two um, type of roof which I have seen around, which is also very common. So I would like to show you how it's done. Um, I've seen this a lot around where a lot of roofs that are hidden. Okay, so I want you to see how that is done. So uh, I picked this roof. Let me um just offset it up a bit so i choose quit similar set the offset let it go about a meter uh meter okay let's make it yeah one meter is fine then i say come in here and i say okay great so um i go back to level two so now we have level three being added i go back to level two and what I will, so this roof is going to be what they call secret or hidden roof. Okay, so let me show you how the layout is going to be. There's going to be a, a floor around it with an offset of about a meter. Then this inner part of it is taken out from it. Parapet wall is drawn around it. And then the roof is kept hidden in the roof. So let's take it step by step. So the first part of it at level two is going to be for the floor. Okay, so I pick an architectural floor. Um, you, so you you model it up. Let me let me just make it end to end. The thickness is 150, so I'm not so much bothered. I say finish this, then I get it done. So let's take a look at the first part of the roof. That is it. So this is the first part of the roof. Now the next thing is that we we have to create an offset in about a meter, okay, to drain out. Um, that inner slab when the roof is brought in. So we we, uh, we can click on the slab and come in to edit the boundary of it. Let's go back to the level two. Okay, I can decide to say, okay, so I want to do a, a meter offset within it. Okay, so um, I come in here, do another meter, a meter, and then a, a meter here. So let's come into crack it off so we are here great so you see um in slab we learned something that if you draw the external boundary of the slab and you draw another one internally it takes off it creates a void it takes this one off from there so you finish the sketch let's see what we have you see so the first part is created let's go back to level two let's go back to level two and then now we we want to draw the um, the parapet wall around it. So I pick my wall. Then I say I want to go to I mean I want my wall to start from level two and end top constraint. I want it to end on level three. Okay. So I pick my wall. I draw. Pick my wall. I draw. I pick it and I draw and I have it. Okay. Um, go to 3D and you see. So we now have to create this last part in here. So go back to level two again. And then this time around, we can have our wall drawn again. But this time around, the wall is going to be of a height, maybe about 300. Okay. Let me just make the wall 300 high. Standing somewhere here. Uh, it's not the offset that the offset should be zero. Uh, let me start. Let me start it again. So the offset is zero. And then we get it drawn. Okay. So, but this particular wall that we have here, let's check the height of it. The base is on level two, and then the top offset. I just want it to go three hundred. Um, let me give it an unconnected height of 300. Okay, so that wall will be small inside. Let's see the 3D. You see, nicely. So 
we are now going to draw our roof and hide it in there. So we'll go back to level two, and then we come to roof, obviously by um, footprint. If you want to do with your pick line method, fine, it's up to you. Uh, let me do an offset of about, say, 100. Uh, let me uncheck the define slope. Then I have it. So this is going to be a flat roof. If I want this side to slope and I want this side to, to slope, I just select this, those two and say define slope. Okay, so the slope is defined at this side and I can determine the angle that I go. So let's say I want to go 10 degrees. Then I finish the sketch. We ask ourselves whether the roof is hidden. We can see it. Okay. So this is how hidden roofs are done or called secret roof. This is how it's done. So uh, from the outside, you, you will not see the roof. But inside there, the roof is that. See, you can you can manipulate this over and over again. You can drop it up to, you can drop the slope up to 10, up to 5, up to 15, depending on the slope and the amount of um, shading that you want. But let's just check it on roof, like level 200. Let's shade it. And I believe probably that will be a bit clearer. So this is what we have on the first part. So this is how hidden roofs are drawn. So it doesn't matter the size or the shape. If you follow the same few steps, draw the floor around it, get your parapet walls drawn, and then create a very upstand, like that wall that we did, the upstand, so the roof will be on it. And then this last part, you now draw your roof and then put it on it. Okay, so you just have to control your height. Please click here to like this video. Your comments are welcome. Subscribe to get new videos.